once you take a, a, a bigger look, and we could have gone on at greater length there, but at how this is funded by NGOs and by taxpayer dollars, the amount of money that's going to people to do drugs on the sidewalk, destroying our cities, which they didn't build and they don't own, it, you really realize this is a manufactured crisis. Gosh, Tucker, there is so much that I want to say here. I know that I'm not going to have enough time. You're talking about NGOs, and I can't say to the American people enough, if you really want to look into what's going on, please understand, yes, it was manufactured. Yes, this was a plot. It did not allow people to look at you and issue pejoratives like you're a conspiracy theory. You can look this up yourself. Well, conspiracy theorist, you can look this up yourself. Take a look at the World Economic Forum. You know, the person that heads that up is a man named Klaus Schwab. He released oh. a book in 2020 talking about how the COVID pandemic... I, I just have to pause it. I mean, look at what they're doing. They're trying to show these pictures of homeless people as if they're just they're fucking feral creatures it's so dehumanizing this is explicit propaganda they know what they're trying to do they're trying to give you this image in your head of wow look at them they're they're not even like people they're basically like animals this is just ugh i don't want that in my city this is gross they're ruining our city it's truly disgusting because these people right here who they're trying to dehumanize you're no better than them tucker carlson you're no better than them candace owens you think you are, but you're not. It's just so sick. Named Klaus Schwab. He released oh. a book in 2020 talking about how the COVID pandemic represented an opportunity for them to transform the world, for them to abolish private property. Look at everything they're doing, and you understand this is what the, this is exactly what they're after, right? Eviction moratoriums, basically saying you have to allow people that are effectively homeless to live in your home. You're making entirely no money. How are these people going to be able to pay back their mortgages? They're not. How are they going to pay their rent? Oh, my God. Holy fucking shit. They're losing their jobs because it's a fucking pandemic, Candace Owens. You absolute fucking dipshit. Believe it or not, most people have real jobs and they don't talk for a living like you or Tucker Carlson or me. They actually have to go to work at a shitty job that they fucking hate. So they lost their jobs and the eviction moratorium was put in place to ensure that we don't have a housing crisis, which we are actually dealing with currently because that moratorium on evictions expired. But she is denouncing the moratorium on evictions. She's saying that it's absurd to think that we could transform the world because of this pandemic. Well, why not? I mean, we're living through a pandemic. Don't you feel as if maybe we all see how healthcare is really important now? Shouldn't we come out of this pandemic with a different outlook? Looking out for the community more? No, she doesn't care. She's just cruel. She looks down at the peasants from her ivory tower and she judges them and she thinks that she's better than them. You're not better than them, Candace. You're a piece of shit propagandist and you're you're disgusting going to be able to they're going to default people are going to be scooping up their properties that were once owned by people hard see she only cares about the landlords she doesn't care about the tenants it's only the powerful people who she is looking out for what about the tenants what if they can't pay rent what if they they've done everything that they possibly can do and they just don't have the money to pay their rent do you think that during a pandemic they should be homeless there should be zero homeless people in the united states we are the richest fucking country on the planet and what these idiots don't realize is that it's literally cheaper to house people who are unhoused than to just have them sleep on the streets. They don't realize that. But they like the cruelness. This is how they get off. Tucker Carlson probably has a little fucking half chub looking at these images of people suffering. Like, these are psychopaths. These are not normal people. These are fucking psychopaths. And they enjoy watching other people suffer. American middle class citizens, uh, you know, that were maintaining their lifestyles before the government forced shut this down. Look at these inner cities and you go, why are they, why do they want these problems? Why are they funding these problems? Why do they want drug addicts? Who on earth would ever. Crazy homeless people commit crimes, get arrested, then do it all over again the next day. Crazy homeless people. Wow. Tucker Carlson is so fucking shameless. He's so shameless. And yet you have people like Glenn Greenwald trying to sell you on the legitimacy of Tucker Carlson because every once in a while he'll utter a few words that are anti-war. Okay, he's he's at least ostensibly anti-war, but along with the anti-war you get this attacking the powerless and also you get explicit white supremacy. Mm, yeah, I, I think we can do better than fucking Tucker Carlson the center to exactly. allow people to do drugs well you're looking at a government that wants a system of dependence being addicted to drugs is a health issue 
So if you want them to not do drugs, you offer them treatment. But they don't want to offer people treatment because that's socialism. Socialism bad. Let everyone suffer. I don't want to see you do drugs. I, you know, I want that out of my view when I'm driving on these streets. But I also don't want to do anything to help you. They're just, they're so fucking cruel. And they think that they're the good guys. They are convinced they're the good guys. It's insane to me. I look at the situation and I say what we're seeing is a modernized system of slavery. This is slavery in the 2020 in 2022 and they are proliferating this under the guise of COVID-19. I you know I I agree with you. I agree with every word of that. I wish I didn't, but I I sincerely do. I I wonder why there isn't at least one city in America. It says I don't care what the court I don't care what anybody says. You can't crap on my sidewalk. Get the hell out of here, buddy. Move on. Like that is I I think if you don't want homeless people, quote, crapping on the sidewalk, why don't you advocate for public housing? Why don't you advocate for the decommodification of housing? Because again, socialism bad, and they just want to find some way to demonize homeless people, people with no money, no power. Because when you're thinking about how icky these homeless people are, ugh. When you're thinking about that, you're not thinking about the way that the elites are fucking you over. You're not thinking about the way that the Republicans are voting in, uh, getting voted in by you, and then they're cutting the taxes of their billionaire donors. You're not thinking about that. So this is why, you know, Tucker Carlson, he always tries to distract you. He, it's always the homeless people. It's always immigrants, critical race theory. It's always something other than the actual issues that are fucking our entire system. Notice how he does this. You just substitute the group. And that's that's his entire shtick. That all civilizations have always reacted to threats like this, like v drug addiction and vagrancy. Why does nobody do that now? Nobody does that now because there's been such a federal overreach. And, and I will say in America, the one guard that we have against this is state rights. Thank God for governors that are standing up and saying absolutely not, True. no matter how, how hard the Biden administration tries to overreach and say, we are absolutely going to have to have this. We need to fund more money, more money. The government is creating problems because they want you to turn to the government for answers. And I always say black America was the experiment with this. They issued trillions of dollars in welfare and black Americans are factually speaking poorer today than they were before the welfare system yeah. began coming after them and tearing apart their families they are now making that system for everybody the fact that they would show these images is so fucking cruel do these people even know that they're being filmed and broadcasted on national television that they're being used for propaganda purposes this is truly disgusting it is morally reprehensible and these two ghouls don't even give a shit and i love how they're you know unironically saying hey the issue is that we're giving too much money to these sorts of issues the issue is that NGOs and everyone, they're throwing all this money at homeless people. We really should do nothing. And that's really going to help the situation. I don't like seeing these homeless people because I'm a bad person. But at the same time, I want to make sure that we have less money to combat the issue of homelessness. They are fucking as moronic as they are cruel. Every single American dependent on the government for food, for family, for drugs, whatever it is, they want a system of slavery. And I cannot say this enough. People look it up. I, I'm sorry. I can't get over this. Who at Fox News went around filming homeless people? Do they know that they're filming people for purposes of, purposes of demonization? Do they know that they're filming these people so they can dehumanize them and make it seem as if they're stray fucking cats and dogs? This is so cruel. And they're just nonchalantly displaying homeless people trying to portray them in a horrible light. Holy fucking shit. Have to look up. They want a global techno technocracy. You are not a conspiracy theorist. Do not allow them to gaslight you. Something very sinister is going on, not just in America, Tucker, all across the world. Actually, Tucker Carlson is a conspiracy theorist, and that's not what gaslighting means, you fucking moron. Um, so this is the full clip, apparently. Uh, this came after this clip, but this is the real segment, and the title is... Tucker, we're watching civilization collapse in real time. 1.3 million views on YouTube. So this is what the YouTube algorithm will push because this is safe content for brands, right? Advertisers don't have to worry because Fox News is a large multi-billion dollar corporation. They're ad safe. Um, it doesn't matter that I have to debunk the misinformation that Tucker Carlson and Fox News disseminates on a daily basis, but I'm not ad safe but they are. Isn't that insane? Tucker Carlson Tonight host examines how leaders are rewarding criminal behaviors, uh, behavior in cities across the country. So basically, 
Um, I'm assuming before even watching this that he's going to denounce any help to combat the housing crisis. Uh, and then he's going to show you lots of examples of homeless people doing things that he views as icky and gross. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carl's tonight. We want to begin by noting something obvious because this is the obvious show. If you live in the United States, you may have noticed that many of our public spaces have become permanent homeless encampments. You see trash filled tents blotting out what were once green and tidy public parks. You step over vagrants drooling unconscious on the steps of train stations on the way to work. You watch as junkies smoke meth without any embarrassment at all. And this is just pure unadulterated dehumanization. He's so gross. He's so explicit in the way that he's dehumanizing people. But pedestrians on the sidewalk, maybe at your children. Everywhere, at every intersection, there are beggars. It's what we used to imagine India was like, but this is not Calcutta. This is New York and San Francisco and Austin, Texas. So the question is, what happened? And the short answer is, our leaders did this. No matter what they tell you, homelessness is not an act of God. It's not the result of economic collapse in this country. America did not run out of housing. Instead, a determined group of well-funded ideologues decided to make it easier to live on the streets in this country while doing drugs. Therefore, many more people now live on the streets while doing drugs. See? Not complicated. In 2005, an unemployed alcoholic called Basil Humphrey enrolled in a rehab program in Boise, Idaho. When Humphrey refused to stop drinking, the rescue mission kicked him out. Those were the rules, and he spent months sleeping outside, as so many do. Eventually, local authorities ticketed him for camping on public property. That was the law. The story First and foremost, the way that he uh, brushes over this story and the details, uh, I think that that's really noteworthy. Because if somebody is an alcoholic, uh, they need help. It's not as simple as just saying, hey, quit drinking or we're cutting off your support. This is a health issue. When people are uh, that much addicted to alcohol and they stop drinking, they get sick. So, you know, they, they don't like the unpleasant feelings that they get. They get withdrawals, so they go back to drinking. You can't just say stop drinking. It's not that simple. I mean, I, I wish that things were that simple. I would tell Tucker Carlson, stop being a white nationalist, but it doesn't work that way. Life isn't that simple ended there except that a huge corporate law firm in New York City called Latham and Watkins took an interest in the case on the other yeah, side. Yeah, that's a great point, uh, Jay, for now. You can literally die if you go cold turkey. Yeah, with all these drugs. You know, these people will say, hey, just, just stop doing drugs. Stop smoking meth. It's not that simple. This is a public health issue and they need help. You're saying less funding to deal with these issues. You don't want to see it, but you don't want to fund it. So, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Like, you can't have it both ways. You either don't want to see homeless people because you clearly think that they're not human beings, or you want to fucking get them help. So, which is it? If you're addicted to heroin, they need, to, you need to have help. I just, I feel like he knows this. He knows this, right? He does know this. He knows this. He just doesn't care. Now, typically, Latham and Watkins represents Wall Street banks and prominent Democratic office holders. But the firm wanted to change vagrancy laws to increase homelessness. Why did they want that? We don't know. But the firm filed a lawsuit on Basil Humphrey's behalf against the city of Boise. That suit made it to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. In 2018, the court declared that cities have no right to criminalize homelessness. In fact, the court ruled cities have an right. They don't cope you white supremacist fuck. Being homeless is not a fucking crime. Is there a bigger piece of shit than Tucker Carlson? I mean, holy shit. Obligation to provide free housing to the homeless at public expense. The Supreme Court later upheld that ruling. Yeah, it's not a choice. Thank you for saying that, Jen. It's like, who's gonna be like, you know what? <sighs> I think I'd rather be homeless today. Who says that? As if people choose to be homeless. This is what late stage capitalism does to your fucking brain. Well, see, I made it. I have a mansion. I have a show on Fox News. Why don't all of these fucking people who are sleeping on the streets just go get their own mansions and get a show at Fox News? Just stop being poor. It's that easy. Stop. Just stop. Why are you poor? Stop it. Exactly. Being a piece of shit rich asshole is a choice. Yeah, exactly. It was known as Martin versus Boise, and it had exactly the effect that Latham and Watkins intended. 
City officials across the country no longer had an obligation to protect the public and public spaces from drug addicts who decided to live in them. In other words, homelessness wasn't being criminalized. That's the code word for protect the city. He wants homeless people to be punished. He doesn't want to help them. He doesn't want any dollars going towards housing. He wants them to be punished. And to him, punishing homeless people is protecting the city. Homeless people are part of the city, dickhead. So when you're punishing them, you're also punishing the city. But again, you have to remember his mindset. To him, these are inferior beings. They're not even human in his mind. These are comparable to stray cats, alley cats, dogs. That's literally the way that he views homeless people. He's, he's saying this. He's telling you right here. And there's going to be more B-roll. I looked ahead where he shows you all the icky homeless people because he really wants people who are watching to think, oh, wow, that is gross. I don't do that. So these people must be inferior to me. That's the point. He's not saying that explicitly, but he's priming you. So that way you think that you came up with these ideas on your own when really he's putting this idea in your head. Same time, politicians suddenly had access to a massive new source of cash. Taxpayer money, many billions in taxpayer money, for something called homelessness prevention. Now, what is homelessness prevention? Well, of course, it's the opposite of what they call it, as always. Here's Seattle's interpretation of homelessness prevention. A handful of Seattle's more than 12,000 homeless will soon be going from the street to a new apartment with stunning views of the Space Needle and Puget Sound. Using part of its share of the $1.9 trillion COVID relief package, the city bought three brand new apartment buildings for $50 million for 165 homeless, a price of $300,000 per unit. In Los Angeles, Skid Row is about to get a new neighbor, a 19-story high-rise for homeless, costing taxpayers $160 million or $580,000 per unit. They're part of an expensive push to get the homeless off of sidewalks and out of city parks and into government subsidized housing, even if it means buying new buildings at market rate from developers. So oh. the issue there is the developers, right? The, the, the market is completely fucked and inflated, but he's saying that Oh, this this supposed homeless prevention thing is really just housing the homeless. Pfft, that's stupid. But you wait, you said that you don't want them on the streets, but they're literally being housed, which is an objectively good policy, and you're scoffing at that. So what the fuck do you want, Tucker Carlson? Do you want to round them all up and execute them? What do you want? Because you don't want them there. You don't want to look at them, but you don't want them to have housing. I just, like, he's so unreasonable, and it, it pains me to think that people consume this propaganda and think, wow, he's got a point here. He's so fucking cruel. Stunning views of the Space Needle in Puget Sound. Do you have one of those? Well, crackheads do. Yeah, how dare homeless people deserve anything? If we're going to house them at all, we should buy them fucking porta potties because, again, these are inferior beings. Why give them a view? Why give them anything? They've got to go somewhere. Are you just going to fucking Thanos snap and make them all disappear? What do you want, Tucker Carlson? Notice how he doesn't say what he wants. He just says, I don't like X thing that's being done to mitigate homelessness. But he doesn't propose a solution. More than half a million dollars per apartment to ho house drug addicts at public expense. At market rate. To house drug addicts. Everything is just so fucking just smug the way he says it, and condescending just belittling just so gross drug addicts are people too and um believe it or not being a drug addict is not a fucking choice they need treatment it is a health issue and he doesn't get that so you can see why real estate developers would strongly support a program like that and of course they strongly do but luxury apartments are just the beginning Seattle's most recent municipal budget allocates more than $150 million to other so-called homelessness programs just this year. Now, keep in mind... So-called homelessness pro programs. We're housing the homeless. So to say it's a so-called homeless program, it it's literally a homeless program. It it's the best thing that you can do. Now, sure, you can make the case that, um, you know, the, the cities are getting ripped off by these real estate developers because, of course, they have monopolies in a lot of cities. Yeah, but is that preferable to just leaving them there, 
to suffer in the cold during a pandemic. Of course it isn't. Fuck this asshole and fuck anyone who tries to normalize him. Who tries to say that he's good because every once in a while he'll say war bad. No, 